This is the first video that I took during the 2008 Max experiment, uh, but it's actually the 11th time that I had to either build or rebuild the simulator due to structural changes or changes in the ways uh, that we make the simulator move. You'll notice that we settled on a, uh, a single axis design. It moves around the pitch axis only and that came after a, a lot of soul searching and trying different things and you'll see how that turned out in a later future episode. And also keep in mind that I never intended for these videos to be public. These videos were for family and friends. Uh, the reason is they would come over to the house to see how the experiment was progressing and either the simulator would be all together or in different parts, different stages of disassembly. Sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't. But with the videos, I always had a way to keep them updated on what we've been working on. I always had something to show people after they signed a non-disclosure agreement. This was a secret program. This is the best version so far of the moving axis aircraft simulator. Only one axis moves around the uh, pitch axis and it's controlled by these counterweights. Counterweight in the front and counterweight in the back. These weights are five pound dumb, are five pound uh, barbell plates. This is inch and a quarter PVC pipe. Within that is a tube of one inch PVC pipe. This outer frame is two inch PVC pipe, and the structure underneath is plywood and two by fours. <clears throat> seat is the good old dune buggy seat with seat rails I made the seat rails adjustable so uh, uh, the CG could change it's a side stick controller now See that I can just move the counterweight just a little bit forward and back and it changes the pitch of the simulator significantly. For roll, it won't do anything, but it will be attached to a potentiometer for the, uh, the simulation software. Control arm rolls back and forth, so it's very smooth. Now, as you sit on top of the simulator, here's the side stick controller. You can see how it rolls back and forth. Now watch this though. See how we can just move it just a little bit and it changes the pitch attitude of the simulator significantly. Which also changes the way that you feel inside the, the seat here. And here we're moving the counterweights just a little bit. <laughs> Look how far the nose goes up. We just imagine some all the hard maneuvering we've done in the simulators. But imagine being able to feel it like this. <laughs> the tail bumped against the, the floor. <laughs> I might have to put seatbelts in this thing. <laughs>
I was making airplane sounds just then, I, I admit it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the other thing. Look, see, since the, the side stick control, I can get in and out of the thing relatively easily, especially compared to everything else we've built here. 